So you want to know how to install a Axon body cam mod for your LSPFR, presumably because it looks cool as shit. Well do not worry because I'm going to show you exactly how to install this and give you a quick run through on how to use it. Okay so all you're going to need for this tutorial is obviously GTA LSPFR and also your file directory. So you're not going to need OpenIFE for this one, thank god. Here's the first thing you want to do is head over to this mod page, I will link it in the description and download the file. Make sure you install the main file because you don't want an older version. Okay, once that's installed, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your GTA directory. So I'm going to show you how to do that now if you're on Steam. So you just head over to your library, right click, scroll down to manage and click browse local files. Next, you want to open the zip file. Now, if you want a font which looks more true to the actual font on the body camera overlay you'll see in real life, then you need to install this true type font file. You do that by double clicking and opening it, and then clicking install. There you go. For the actual overlay installation itself, you just go into this folder here. It will also do that wonderful beep that you like hearing every 120 seconds, just to remind you how cool it is. GTA. And then if you don't have the Rage Native UI application extension, you just want to drag this into your main GTA 5 directory here. See, I already have it from a bunch of other mods, since most mods you'll find will use this. So I'm just going to replace it. Next, we're going to mirror the path we follow in the zip file in our folder. So plugins, plugins. And then what we want to do is we want to drag all of these three files into the plugins folder. As you can see, I have a, another body cam version. However, I'm looking to upgrade it. So I thought I might as well make a video on it. Okay, and that is the installation of your body cam. Oh, fuck it out, I'll probably change that. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so while I'm here, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how to use this. So to activate the body cam, you just double press O, that's the default key. I don't know how I forgot this here, but I've just realised editing this to deactivate the body cam, you just hold O down for at least three seconds. The body cam can also activate when you unholster a weapon, or you activate your emergency lights in your vehicle and drive over a certain speed limit. Now you can configure these in the any file, which I'll show you here. Ugh, wrong place. Here we go, that took me a minute. This is just basically the configuration settings file. So as you can see, you can change the recording key. You can change the parameters for the dash cam when it'll activate, etc. And the actual text that appears on the body cam thing overlay in the top right. To activate the dash cam, all you need to do is simply just scroll through your perspective options using V, that's the default key, and then this will cycle to a dash cam. If you want to get the interior view, then all you need to do is press C, which is also the default key to look backwards. If you want to change the FFE offset or the position of your overlay in your dash cam, you just want to type in axon signal offset menu in your command console, which is activated by default with the F4 key. Now, if you want to change the position and all of that of the actual body cam whilst you're also in game, then what you need to do is you need to type in axon signal overlay config menu into your command bar. Now, if you want, there is integration possible with the Rockstar editor. So this means whenever your body cam activates, you will actually have a clip be recorded, but obviously this will take up quite a bit of storage space if you're using as really far a bunch and to activate this obviously you just need to go into the configuration settings file that i showed you earlier all right if this video helped anyway make sure to leave a like also subscribe for more tutorials and more videos in general if you have any questions or suggestions make sure to leave them in the comments below but apart from that i will see you all in the next video goodbye